What are the banks and government doing right now to get ready for the next three to four months in crypto and stocks? Hey, this is CEO Trades, where money works for you. Today, we're looking at a simple question. What are the banks and the government doing preparing for the next three or four months? Why the next three or four months? We don't know what's going to happen, but we do know that the banks put out a statement out there and the government is taking steps to get ready for what could come in the next three to four months. What is What could it be? Number one is the Fed will continue to, ri to rise the interest rates. And that's a reality. Why? Because inflation is very high and they need to cut down and bring back a balance to the system. There's a lot of money being printed out there. How is it going to be made back unless interest rates rise? That's one way. Number two is that within the next three to four months, Bitcoin as well as the stock market, S&P 500, for example, could fall 20 to 30 percent. This is said by the banks like JP uh, Morgan and, and a few others. I believe it was JP Morgan Chase. I said it yesterday if you want to check it out in the video. But some of these stocks as well as Bitcoin will probably fall 20 to 30 percent. What does that mean? Well, for example, for Bitcoin, it could fall anywhere between 10,500 and 11,500. How does that benefit you and me? If you are ready in the next several months or weeks or whenever this happens, we don't have a date. It could be a little bit over. It could be now. It could be tomorrow. We don't know. There's no definitive answer. It's just that as the feds raise their interest rates, there's a high probability that it will happen. Not only that, so probability of war, if that happens, a higher war around the world, that could also bring down the stock market and Bitcoin. There's also a possibility of stagflation, which means there is not enough employment going around. Things are so expensive and not enough people are purchasing. That creates stagflation, meaning there's going to be a reset in the pricing of everything. There's a shortage of food. There's a so shortage of certain types of, of commodities out there that are going to affect the world just in general. And they're already starting to affect the world like electricity is in Europe. What else is out there? Gold. Gold is being purchased as an example, as it was in 2000, just before the crash, and in 2007, just before the crash. Guess what? They're purchasing, the governments are purchasing more gold than ever before. And you know what could come after that is a crash. They're getting ready because gold is a standard for, as a backup for all the debt that is out there and so on, so that they can be able to balance out their sheets when this all comes down. There's so much printing of money going on, or not only in the U.S., it's all ha so happening in other governments as well. And how are they getting ready for that? Not only that, how are you going to prepare for this? There are three ways, and I mentioned it yesterday. Number one, cut spending. Cut spending. Number two, save your money. Number three, get ready and look for ways to invest. Right now, Bitcoin is currently around 16,696 or just under that or around that. If it goes down to 11,005, if it goes down to 13, what do you do? Remember, I am not your financial advisor. I always seek the help of a professional so that you make the best decisions for you. But this is what I would do. I would take a little bit at a time and jump in a little bit at a time, even right now. This is what Bukele tweeted, tweeted, put in his Twitter account today. That's what he tweeted. He's going to invest daily on Bitcoin, one Bitcoin per day. Why? Because you don't know what tomorrow promises and things could pick up. And as all of this continues to happen, guess what? Eventually, Bitcoin will take off compared to the stocks, just in general. Why? Because people are losing a bit of faith in reference to stocks, although I don't believe stocks are going to go away. It's just that that's just the way the trend is going right now. So you see, if you want to double your bank account, why don't you invest in your knowledge account so your money market account will grow multiplied until tomorrow. We'll look at another session of the markets. Oh,